So we're just here with a Sherman. It started raining. And I was down there in that grass. So I came up to the shelter. And by the time I got here, it stopped raining. <laughs> but look at this, right? See this bench? For you to sit down, like, stay out of the wet. The water just keeps coming down. And it bounces off that metal into your back. Like, if you're sitting there, it'll just be hitting your back. And then you got these coat hangers up here. So you can hang your coat up later and dry it off. So they got it all worked out. But what I wonder is how does it just keep coming? Like, it didn't rain that much. And the water just keeps coming. It's been, do it's been doing this for like 20 minutes. I'm not even joking. And guys, the funny thing is it only rained for like two minutes. What the fuck is this? And it, you can see it says reservoir. So I'm wondering, does that mean, is there a reservoir up there? That's designed to store water and then do this. So then you can sit down, get your pants all wet. Or if I was already sitting here, like if I had been sitting here before it got all wet, then I'll just be wetting my back, right? So then I wouldn't have to hang up my pants. I'll just hang up my coat. But if you get here late, then you're gonna sit there, you know, get your pants wet, get your back wet, and then you, at least you got plenty of coat hangers though. Hang up your jeans. Not bad, not a bad gig, huh? And it's not it, like, it, <laughs> The weirdest thing is, it's not even raining. How do they get it to do that? It's like some ingenuity right there. <laughs> Look at this, and the water—the <laughs> water comes all the way. <laughs> Dude, how weird is this? The water comes exactly to the edge, <laughs> and no more. See, it's all dry there, <laughs> and it's—it's it's wet all the way to the edge of the bench. So they've designed this thing to perfection. I mean, that's like ultimate precision. The water exactly reach. <laughs> How does it even do that? <laughs> like, look at this shit. You know the weird thing about riding on gravel 
when after it's rained, it gets grippier. Where on the road, after it rains, obviously it gets slipperier, doesn't it? But on gravel, it's the opposite. That's so weird. And it gets a lot grippier. When it's dry, it's all powdery. So you can like slide on it fairly easily. You know, it's very slippery. When it's wet, it's all sticky. And the tire doesn't want to slide at all. It's like... It's like as grippy as um, the road is when it's dry. Like, it's crazy. And this umbrella already broke, see? See how the handle is just like a, a stump? Because... It um it broke because of the wind, you know, the torque the wind puts on the handle. And I just like cut it off and it's been fine ever since. So all this other mechanism holds up to the stress. Because I go like I sometimes go like 60 Ks an hour with this umbrella. It must look like Mary Poppins to the uninitiated. You know, I just realized that this tire has got a lot of grip on the road as well when it's wet. Or like this kind of surface is not quite the road. It's pretty much the same as the road actually. And it's got tons of grip. So maybe it's got like the same amount as what, you know, I said gravel. When gravel gets wet, it gets grippy and it feels like as grippy as the road. But even when the road is wet, this has a lot of grip still. So, I don't know, it's weird. When the road is dry then, imagine how much grip this thing has. It's got so much grip. It's crazy. But let's like, listen to this tire, it sounds cool because it's so new. Like, you can see all the hairs. See those hairs? They're like... When it's brand new, you've got those hairs. I don't, it doesn't make any performance difference, I doubt. But you can just tell it's brand new because, you know, they will just come off within days. Let's just put the camera down. Can you hear the tire? It's like, because it's brand new, it kind of like crunches into the ground. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Hit my delivery bag. What the hell? It's all like... There's dirt all over it now. But I only just hit like... The tires are only narrow. I don't know how I got that dirty. Alright guys, we ended there. And uh, the main point was that it's weird that gravel becomes more grippy when it rains. But the road becomes more slippery when it rains.
And you'll be surprised just how grippy the gravel becomes when it gets even just a little bit wet. Because, like I said, only rained for like two minutes. And it's enough to just take the powder out of the gravel. So it's no longer a loose surface. It's kind of loose, but it's not really. Like, when you try to make the wheel slip, you'll find it just grabs, like... You know, maybe it's a tiny bit loose, but it just kind of shifts over a, just a millimeter, you know? And it just keeps... It grabs the tire. Because as it tries to slip, it kind of um, mounds, like creates a mound of gravel, like a micro mound, if that makes sense. You know, the gravel kind of piles up on top of itself. But because it's so wet, it like helps it stick together, if that makes any sense. Whereas when it's all loose, it's just like a bunch of powder. So you can just slide across it. And you might be wondering, why do I have a brand new tire? And it's kind of interesting, but I'll leave it for the for another episode to explain that. Probably the next one. And I actually needed to change my tire. So I had a mishap. I'll just say that. And it's kind of funny. There's a funny story behind it all. So I'll leave that for probably the next episode. If not the one after that, but I'll try and make it the next one. Alright guys, peace out.